So let's jump right in. Why should you be a virtual assistant? For many people, they want to have the flexibility to stay at home. Maybe they have kids or an elderly family member they need to care for. Maybe you're like me and you didn't want to return to work outside the home once COVID-19 settled. For me, my daughter goes to daycare during the day, but when she first started, we were still kind of in the middle of the COVID-19 situation. So from time to time, if she had quote unquote symptoms, I had to keep her home with me. Keeping her home was not a big deal because I could rearrange my work schedule accordingly to make sure that I was tending to her while also doing my work. Maybe you're just tired of the regular, regular nine to five and you need an out. Are you tired of working every day, going to and from work? You have the commute to and from work, and then you still have your regular daily routine that you need to take care of outside of the work hours. You have to cook, you have to clean, you have laundry, you have kids to take care of, you have family members to take care of, you have dogs to walk. The list is endless. For some people, being a virtual assistant allows them to travel, to be location dependent. I personally packed my family up and moved to Mexico for four months during the winter because I could. You've also probably seen it a million times suggested online. Become a virtual assistant to make some extra cash. Many people start off being a virtual assistant as a side hustle. Pay off some debt, cover your bills, etc. Being a virtual assistant can be a side hustle that eventually turns into your regular source of income. Many people start off with their 9 to 5 and they do virtual assistant on the side. They do early mornings, or they do evenings, or maybe they work with another client who works in a different time zone so that even though it's evening for them, it's still the middle of the day for their client. You can do 10 hours a week. You can do just working on weekends. You can do work when your child naps. The possibilities for the extra supplemental income are endless when it comes to being a virtual assistant. One amazing thing that is often forgotten about being a virtual assistant is having your own skills that you get to develop. When you work for yourself and you're a virtual assistant, you get to focus on your zone of genius. What's your zone of genius, you ask? It's basically a bunch of skills and expertise that you already have that you get to use on a daily basis. You get to support your clients and their businesses by having your own business that runs on the things that you enjoy doing. If you're into tech, you can be a tech implementer. If you're into graphic design, you get to use your creative side every single day. So by being a virtual assistant, you get to use your favorite things and your expertise on a day-to-day -day basis. Other reasons why somebody might become a virtual assistant is to be their own boss. Maybe you're tired of being told what you need to do and you decide to be your own boss because it means you have your own job security. Your job is not at the hands of anybody else but yourself. You can choose when and where you work. You can choose how many hours you work. You can choose the clients that you work with. Which brings me to my next point. You get to work with many different clients. You decide who you do and don't want to work with. If you have a different industry you prefer, if you have a different culture you prefer, or maybe you have different professional networks that you prefer, you get to decide. In this course, I will periodically refer to the workbook, which you can download and print out, or you can simply download and fill it in on your computer as you see fit. You can use the workbook to follow along jot down any ideas that may come to you. So, to start off, in the first page of the workbook, I want you to write down your top three reasons for why you want to become a virtual assistant. These can be reasons that are personal reasons, such as being home with your family, 
having the ability to travel, going to see family and friends, working for half a day, or they could be professional reasons. Maybe you want to make more money, maybe you have a side income you'd like to do, or maybe you have another side hustle that is not related to being a virtual assistant at all, but you can't get that off the ground because you need an extra source of income. There are hundreds of reasons why you can become a virtual assistant, but only you will know what your top reasons are. Only you know why you want to go down this path. 